past few months, News 4 has taken a close look at the legal trouble created by synthetic marijuana. But what about the potential health risks? Our medical expert, Dr. Peter Ostro, is here to reveal just how dangerous these products can be. Well, you know, marijuana is one of the most intensely studied drugs of all time. We know where it goes in the brain, how it produces its intoxicating effects, and also its side effects. In contrast, we know very little about the new synthetic marijuana drugs, but we're beginning to see how dangerous they are. Marijuana use produces distorted perceptions, impaired coordination, difficulty with thinking and problem solving, and problems with learning and memory. Because it's illegal, some clever chemists have created substances which mimic the effects of marijuana and marketed them with cute names like K2, Spice, Aroma, and Eclipse. We don't know what the stuff really is, but Senator Schumer scored a bullseye with this comment. Powdered cocaine wouldn't be legal just because you stamped powdered sugar on the bag and added a few little ingredients. There have been thousands of calls to poison control centers over the past year or so, and this week's edition of the journal Pediatrics presents case reports of three adolescents who were hospitalized. The fake pot has all the potential side effects of real marijuana, plus sweating, agitation, restlessness, paranoia, anxiety, and even increased heart rate and convulsions. And from batch to batch, we don't know what the stuff is. We don't know what these chemicals do. We don't know how to treat them. We don't know what problems we actually have to face. And since there's no regulation, those who use these drugs don't know what chemical they're putting in their bodies or what dose they're getting. It's just some stuff sprayed on chopped up herbs. They could make it very concentrated, very weak. They could make it, um, you know, they could apply it heavily or lightly. They could reapply it or maybe they could apply multiple cannabinoids to one blend. In order for a new drug to be approved by the FDA, it must go through extensive testing to prove it's safe. We often complain about how long that takes because we're anxious for the medicine to become available. These unregulated herbal products aren't tested at all, and, and we know they're not safe. Well, and there's talk about bans here and there, but would mm -hmm. that be enough? Well, probably not. The, uh, the Drug Enforcement Administration banned five of the chemicals used in synthetic marijuana as of March 1st. The ban is in effect for at least a year, but there will probably be new chemicals created to get around it. And what we really need is comprehensive regulation of these herbal supplements and preparations. All right. Thanks, Doc. Great warning for parents there.